everyone, welcome back to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Guess who we've got back? I just couldn't resist. <laughs> right first, it worked. <laughs> Fill them little bellies up, it gets them back. <laughs> so we've got Julie Rogerson back in the kitchen again, and we're looking for another fantastic night. So she did show me last week something else that she was thinking of making on the Monday, and I said, oh, why don't you make both? So anyhow, we chose this baby. Now this isn't the one she made on Monday because you've already seen the pictures of the staff scoffing the one that she's made and they thoroughly enjoyed it. But this was the original one that came. So I know you all had a fantastic live. So today she's going to make you the other item. So before we do that, let's talk about who's in the kitchen. So Julie, welcome back. Thank you very much for and having me again. I am so glad that you've come <laughs> back. It's great. Hey? And we've asked Julie to be a regular feature in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of her next year. <laughs> we like. I just love that M62 drive. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, it's only two hours yeah, away, it isn't is, it? Yeah. Right, okay. yeah. So, anyhow, so Julie's going to be a regular feature in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. We'll let her pick and choose her own dates, but you're going to see a lot more of her next year, which we're really very pleased about. Anyway, we've got Laura and Maria in the kitchen today. Hi. Hi. Yeah, so uh, as you know, Maria will be bobbing around shortly. But let's before we get on, let's just talk about a few things. So I mentioned last week that Julie's Facebook page is um, Jul Julie's, Julie's Cake, Cake in a Box. Yeah. Uh, I, I have to have a look because I just think I might say Cake Box or Out of a Box or something. So it's Julie's Cake in a Box. So do pop over there, give her a like, okay? And let's just tell you about some of the things that Julie does. So she's always made wonderful things. I think you've done two sessions with us before, haven't you? Um, is it twice no, or just one? one? Just the one, one is it? Right. Yeah. Cranky. We feel as though we know you so well, doesn't I know, it? I know. So um, last time she made, yes, the handbag cake, wasn't yes. it? So the handbag cake was so popular. And you know, the way she shows you how to make it, it's, it's like, it's just so easy once you know how. And this bad boy, we were laughing our heads off on Monday saying there's no way she's going to make this in two hours. And by the time I've done all the talking, she hadn't got two hours anyhow. But <laughs> she did, which was fantastic. And again, it's another treat there that you think, crikey, how, once you know, it's easy. But it's once you know, isn't it? So we have to thank these demonstrators for coming over, showing us. So do make sure you pop up loads of love hearts, thumbs up, whatever you want. Say a big thank you to Julie because without people coming into the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, you wouldn't get any free advice and it's all a free learning experience for you. So then we had a look at the penguin that she made. Now this little beauty was on Cake Decoration Sugar Craft magazine for the December issue, which is yeah. lovely, isn't it? Yeah, to finish the year with the magazine. Yeah. Look at that. So there you go. There he is. Here he is in the kitchen. What have you called him? Have you given him a name? No, I haven't actually. Ooh. I think he's just known as Knitted Penguin yeah. in the magazine, but yeah. He's so yeah, cute, nice isn't it? I can't stop looking at him. It's just so, so cute, cute, isn't it? So um, so how to make this is actually in the magazine. Julie's done a full tutorial in the magazine. So if any of you that have already subscribed to the magazine will have it all ready. All the rest of you, you'll have to go and buy it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But what I did want to tell you is, is that you can subscribe to the magazine. Um, just let me hold my finger on that page. You can subscribe to the magazine via our website. So go to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Go to shop, drop down, and drop down to Cake Decoration and Sugar Craft Magazine. It will take you over to their website. It's not something you're going to drop into our shopping basket. You'll be directed to their website, and you'll sign up for a subscription. Now, the subscription you can cancel any time you want, but I'm sure that once you've been reading it, you won't want to. Um, we've got lots of people who are in the magazine who come into the kitchen, so I'm sure you're going to want to follow them by keeping the subscription up. So on here is this fabulous tutorial. When I find it. it. I really should put some little uh, post-it notes in, shouldn't I? I think it's on page 30 something, but I'm not sure. I should have looked. Me too, I should have looked, but I'm never that organised. Talking of organised, we'll talk about the Christmas dinner. That's in here as well. There it is. There it is. So you're right, 36. So there we go. Mm -hmm. So there's four pages on how to make this little beauty. All picture details. Look, everything using Karen Davies moulds as well which is ironic really because we were in Karen's kitchen last yeah, week yeah. and a lot of you bought the, the same moulds that Julie's yeah, using so sure. that's a full detail there if you join the subscription basically you get five magazines for free so for five months you get five magazines free and then you just continue subscri subscription now just before that we have 
my write-up I'm just before the page before Julie and that's the, the 12 days before Christmas um, and some of it is it's just hints and tips for Christmas uh, no it's 12 tips for Christmas not 12 days before Christmas forgetting myself <laughs> <laughs> and it's just things that go on in my home and um, with having a larger family I've got four children eight grandchildren John six dogs <laughs> lots to organize <laughs> chaos in the house like we always have and you know it's amazing we invite everybody over and we don't ever have enough tables and you know we always want things to look lovely so you know what it means clear clearing the garden table bringing that in so just a few hints and tips there and then who else i noticed was in here as well um is hillary hillary hurst and her cake is up there. So I actually introduced Hillary to Cake Decoration Sugar Craft Magazine. And um, I got Hillary over here to make this cake here, which you all absolutely loved. And I'm so pleased that we've introduced her to them. And then hopefully she's going to get lots of tutorials in there as well. Just like you, because you're a regular feature yeah. in there as well, aren't you? Yeah. So you'll see lots of her work as well. And again, she's give you step by step as well. So excellent. And then there's also one of my biggest topics. And FMM have got their story in there. And it's um, FMM versus fake. Have a read at this because I'm always going on about copying, about infringing copies. And some of you get it and some of you don't. But you know what? If you buy this magazine, have a read about it. And um, we'll, we'll be talking more about this next year. So that's the magazine. OK, so hopefully you'll sign up for that. So we're going to take this little beauty out of the way. And then you'll see that we've got another little beauty. So Julie, tell us about this. OK, so as you might remember on Monday when I was here, I was talking about my dog. Um, I've got a spring spaniel at home called Sandy. And this was a little model that I made. This actual model was made for a collaboration, um, an online collaboration. It was about party animals. So animals all dressed up going for a party. Um, but I've actually got a free pictorial, uh, a free tutorial for that dog on my website. So if you go to my website, which is www.juliescakeinabox.co.uk, you'll be able to actually download the free step-by-step -step guide of how to make it. Now, how generous is that, Julie, to do that? Yeah. I mean, you know, to getting tutorials is difficult enough as it is, but when you're getting free tutorials and this little cutie. Yeah, he doesn't have all the party gear on on the tutorial, but they were really quick and easy to do. It is just for the dog. Um, but yeah, Brilliant. hopefully you'll well, I think and enjoy we it. We can work out that. Are we on this yeah. camera? Is that the best one to look at? Yeah. So um, it's just for the dog and yep. on the board and then, but you know, this little cone that you can make there to yeah, make a little party out of. And this is just ribbons, isn't it? Yeah. It's just made and thrown over. Yeah. But how wonderful. And look at that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Isn't that great? I've got that in the camera yeah. properly. Yeah. So fantastic. Thanks very much, That's Julie, okay, for that. Yeah. That's lovely. I'll certainly be taking a look. And did you do the same with the eyes there? Put that glaze on the eyes to make yes. them shiny. Yeah, I think. So I don't know whether you can see how shiny they are. I think I probably use little um, sugar piles. Yeah, for that. Ah, right. but you can ah. use little rolled up balls of sugar paste as yeah. well. Good, isn't it? great. Yeah, super. Right, okay then. So just to let you know what's going on in the kitchen as well, I did mention to you that we've got Christmas boxes on offer, so they're half price. Um, so they're going fast. Mm -hmm. We haven't got a lot left. Um, they're going fast, grab them. Julie is going to use um, the candy set. These are the new sweet stamps that are out. Now, I did have a bit of problem. I was showing you how I took them out, out of the board the, uh, on Monday. And then I did have a, it took me a while to put them back in. But then I've realized why it's taken me a while. So which camera can you see properly on there, Laura? Can you zoom in? Yep. Yeah, so you see she's got two A's. So there's an A with a small flick and an A with a big flick. And the idea is, is that, you know, if you finish something off, like, like Julia wrote Santa on the board, you could do the bigger A on the end so it finishes it off with a nice swirl. And the same with the E, you've got a smaller E and it's got a big flick there for the E. The H, and then you could do a twirly H. The Y, there's a normal small Y and a big swirly Y. So there's a couple of other additional letters in there. The Z is the one that causes me the most problems because I would never have thought that was it. Now it's in there, I can see it's the Z. But I've got to be honest, when I tipped it out, I spent most of the Facebook Live looking for that because I actually thought that was the scrappy bit. So before you throw anything away, do not throw him away because... <laughs> He, he, he really is the Z but otherwise I think it's a fabulous set and we like that so we're going to use this one again yep. and then we've got I haven't opened this one up but this is evil cake genus and this is monogram letters so it's just the uppercase letters and it's the monogram effect um, so which means that all these little bits come out so I'm not going to open it today but I will open it next week for you to have a look at and nice their colors red on the back black on the front 
black on the front. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, got it the right way around. I'm really unsure of myself these days. Never know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there we go. I think that's it. that's it all, really. So, Julie, oh, the flower modelling paste is back in stock as well. <laughs> so, we've <laughs> got that. Green boards are back in stock. Rolling pins are back in stock. And, oh, I want to just tell you about this little beauty as well, because Christmas coming up. So some of you are great cake decorators. Some of you want to do things with the children. So some of you may remember these or may not remember these, but these come in sheets and it's sugar paste. And basically you're just gonna pull them off, break them out. Says she, you can't do one at the moment. There we go. And you just gently break them off. You can eat all this. This is all free for you to eat. How good is that? Free for And there we go. And then we've got a cake here decorated. So if you're looking to make a cake with the grandchildren, this is so easy, this. Big round piece of sugar paste. Cut it so it's up and down. Board. We've got the ribbon here. It's a sticky ribbon. So you don't even have to have really nice straight edges either. Put your board on. Stick this over the top. Hides a lot. We've got this ribbon as well. And then put these on. How great to do that with the grandchildren. Fantastic, and that's all in that set. And this is part of the Shug Art range. So it's Shug, S-U-G, A-R-T range. So I just thought I'd remind you of these, um, So because I think they're great. And even those little things just good on little cupcake, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Little topper, they're yeah. cute. Have you, you yeah. haven't seen them before, I've have you? I have seen them before, no. Yeah. Really and they taste nice as well. Yeah. Which is great. Right, so Julie, let's get yes. you on with your cake then. Okay. Fabulous. We're doing this. Yeah, this <laughs> okay, so back again. Um, we're going to make a Christmas stocking today, a carved Christmas stocking. Again, I know some of you are a little bit worried about making carved cakes, so this is a really, really simple one to get you started. All I've literally done is got onto Google, typed in Christmas stocking outline, and printed myself off an outline of a Christmas stocking. Obviously, I'm not going to find boards that are in this style already, so I've just cut out a template using um, foam core. You could, if you wanted, use a cake board, just an ordinary cake card, trace around and, and cut, cut it out, out. with a, a sharp uh, blade, or the foam core is just as good as well. Okay, so I'm going to use the foam core as my template. I've got um, a cake here. I did measure it up, I think it's about 11 inches by 8 inches, but obviously it depends what size you do your template as to how big a cake you're going to need. So all we need to do is pop the template on there, sharp knife or serrated blade and we're just going to cut around we're cutting straight up and down okay don't be cutting at an angle straight up and just follow around the template there like so so okay. what size would you say this is julie or what size cake are you starting out with the size of cake this is an 11 by 8 inch okay. cake um but like I say, obviously, depending yeah, what you on want. what size template you've got. Yeah. So that's a really good thing with using the Google Images. You can just resize it. Yeah. I copied it onto a Word document and then just use those little grabby oh, yeah. bars just to resize Brilliant to idea. what I wanted. So you can do it as big or as small as you like. So let's roughly cut round. We might trim it off a little <coughs> bit once it's on the board, so you don't have to worry if it's not exact. Off cuts for you, Maria. Off cuts. <laughs> <laughs> Are we okay to put them just over yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, they won't stay there long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just remove all your off cuts. Like so. They're really good for cake pot mix mm. as well. Let's just lift that off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stick those onto the board. Oops. I'm just using an old scrappy cake drum just to work on. Okay. Um, decide which way around you want your stocking to go. I'm going to go that way around on my board, but it's up to you which way you want the stocking. And then we'll just you know, once you've cut that out, that yeah. cake looks yeah. much bigger. Do you think so? Um, I thought I, I thought the actual cut out of the cards looks small. Small, but then but now you look at the cake. Yeah, there's a lot of cake there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I often fall into that trap of making cakes that are so much bigger than they actually need to be. Yeah. Because when, like I say, when mm -hmm. you look at you the outline of it, you yeah. Think that, yeah. Because it's flat, it doesn't yes. look like anything. Yeah. But like I say, once you get the cake. And I think a lot of people make that mistake as well. I think customers make that mistake yes. when they're ordering cake. Yeah. Well, I need it to be yeah. 60. I know, they hundred. think they need a huge yeah. cake. Yeah. yeah. I need a 12 inch cake. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeding 12 people. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just popping a little bit of buttercream on the board first just to stick the cake down. 
So we'll tell you, we are using Sweet Success Cake. Now, when Julie was here on Monday, we used my own cake that I'd made. But this is Sweet Success Cake that I actually had in the freezer. And uh, so, and it was, do you remember those big slabs that I bought? Mm. Those big giant things? Well, I couldn't fit them in the freezer. <laughs> so I had to cut them up into sections. So, no, great to use it today. And it's yeah. great cake if any of you buy from Sweet Success. And it was the perfect size as yeah, well. Yeah, it was ambient, that, wasn't yeah. it? Okay, so just obviously if you want to put jam in as if you fill in as well you can do. Okay. Don't worry about going right to the edges because we might be trimming a little bit off anyway. Okay, and then the other half goes on. Like so. And all we're going to do, because it's a stocking, it's not going to be kind of really square and flat. So we're just going to trim off the top edge just to soften it, give it a little bit of a rounded shape. Okay, so literally just oh. just a slight just angle, a slight angle. Yeah. so about 45 degrees I know. these are the things you need to it know is, is it it's see i would have been sugar pasting over that i know now. dead <laughs> square and flat yeah no sharp edges i know um, i'm going to leave the top because obviously the top of the stocking is it's straight a bit straight yeah. yeah but that's exactly what i would have done would yeah. you yeah I would have buttercream that or ganached it. Yeah, and gone and like rubbish. Over. Yeah, and how square it was. Why does everybody get theirs rounded yeah. off? Round it off, you fool. Yeah. <laughs> like the good old days when we yeah. all had rounded edges on our legs and all these sharp edges. They need to come back into fashion, those round. Absolutely. It, was, it would save so much oh, wind gym, wouldn't yeah. it, if you had yeah. round edge cake back again. So much together. stress. Yeah. So I'm just checking to make sure that the cake isn't overlapping the cake board underneath. Just trim a little bit more off there. But because it's a shaped cake, it doesn't really matter. Um, as I say, you can be a little bit more forgiving. Okay, so I'm just going to go and warm up the ganache and then we're ready yeah. to ganache. Super. Right, Laura, you may as well do your spiel. Yeah, yeah. I know, we've not, said that, we've not said hi to anyone or anything this evening. Have we got an audience? We, yeah, we have, don't worry, we have got people watching. It's only because, like on Monday night, we want to just pack in as much as we can onto the live for you. So we're just going to try and let Julie get on with it this evening. Um, if you've got any questions or anything like that that you need answering that are relevant to tonight's live, just pop them in the comments. We will get round to them later in the week if we miss them tonight. And I know the audience are fantastic in answering anything that we do miss. So just pop them all on there. Carol's just remembered something. I have. Go what on. have I remembered? What have I remembered? Come on, audience. What have I remembered? Share. Oh, yeah. Share this Facebook Live. So on Monday, we've started a new idea, which is sharing our Facebook Lives to be in with a chance of winning a £25 voucher from Sugar and Crumbs. So what we do is all the lives on a Monday, we'll do that. So if you do a share, so Mondays when we were in with Julie, that prize, we'll pick a winner next Monday when we're in with Sarah Doyle. And then this one um, will, I don't know who's in next Thursday, but what we'll do is... Um, We'll do, we'll do a share for this one and we'll pick a winner then. So do make sure you share this with all your friends. And to be fair, when you've got stuff cakey like this, but share it with all your cakey friends, you know, for you somebody who are interested. Yeah, who are interested. <laughs> yeah, not much point sharing it with, um, with people who are not interested or stuff <laughs> like that. But I mean, I can't tell you to share it with, but share it with as many cakey people as you can. And of course, do share it with your friends as well, if you think they'll be interested and ask them to share it. And um, what we'll do is we're gonna pick a 25 pound voucher every single week, but Mondays will be Mondays, Thursdays will be Thursdays. And if we do any impromptu lives, we'll do them on those days on the next one. So uh, we have to remember to do that. So have you got that button up, Laura? Yeah. Share, share this live. Great, well done. Okay, so I've just cleaned some of the cake crumbs off the board so that we don't get them all mixed in with your ganache. Okay, and then we're just going to put a thin coat. I'm just spreading it over. And again, because it is quite an organic shape, we don't have to worry about the sharp edges. I never thought about saving a bit of cake for chocolate ganache. I will tell you that it's not just me scoffing cake. Maria and Laura have been scoffing <laughs> cake as well. I know what? I'm normally so you never good. Eat cake. I'm normally so you good. good. And You've never eaten. I know. Yeah. I just couldn't resist it. I'm not eating. No. Do you, do you not eat any? Do you ever eat any of the nibbles? Um. Yeah. I do yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go on then, everyone. Put your hands up. Admit it. Do you eat the off cuts? What do you do with the off cuts? Come on, tell us. 
I, I know see. about the time I've baked and decorated a cake, I've had it so, I've had enough of it and I don't want to ever see a cake again. Yeah. And I normally just give it away, so I'm going to just take it away. So I don't Do want it Do you not find that like when you cook food though, you cook a roast dinner, mm. but by the time yeah. you sit down at the table, you can't yeah, eat the roast dinner. It. That's because you've cut the meat, you've had a bit yeah. of that, haven't you? You've had a bit of veg. Yeah. <laughs> you can't bake it. You've had yours it. while you've I must admit, okay. I like the, um, if I'm doing a chocolate cake, particularly like the chocolate mud cakes, the real mm. dense ones, oh, yeah. with a bit of custard. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 I'll try not to. Oh, this looks good. Yeah. This looks good. So it's nice to watch your ganache cake. So anyhow, yeah. so they are asking, what's the recipe for your ganache? Okay, so this is a dark chocolate ganache. So it's two parts chocolate to one part double cream. So I quite often use only cream as well. At home when I'm doing it for customers yeah, because a lot it, of lasts, people use that, don't it lasts for longer. Oh. Um, there's much better dates on the cream when you buy it, yeah. so it means I can stock up in the fridge and I'm not dashing out to the yeah. shops every five minutes because double cream. It's yeah. The yeah. best buy dates are not brilliant, are they? You have to keep buying it regularly. Yeah. Whereas at least the Elm Lee, I think the last lot I bought, um, the best buy dates are well after Christmas. Yeah, yeah that's so it's ideal. Yeah. Just stock up. So just repeat that again for dark so chocolate. Dark chocolate is two parts chocolate and one part cream. So if we said two parts chocolate, so let's say we were using 300 grams of chocolate, that would be 150 grams of cream. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Because that always used to confuse me. I know. Yeah. And then for milk chocolate, what would you do? Milk need? chocolate, I tend to, um, I tend to go quite heavy with the milk chocolate and white chocolate, and I use around three times chocolate. What I tend to do is really easy calculations one pot of only cream to one kilo of white chocolate or one kilo of milk chocolate or 600 grams ah okay that's right isn't it yeah we'll pop that in the comments yeah yeah we'll have to try and remember (laughs) maria (laughs) i just find it easier so that i don't yeah it's easier i buy the 100 gram bars of chocolate so it's literally 10 bars of chocolate to one pot of cream or six yeah. Bars of chocolate to one well, we've got cream. lots of people who admit that they eat the off cups. Yes. They're a bit cheeky <laughs> out there, see? So we're not the only baddies. No, in the kitchen. definitely not. Yeah, that's what off cups are for. Then we yeah. get the rest of the birds. They're the perks, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. That's Absolutely. it. As Rob Allen says, chef's yeah. perks. <laughs> So, um, so ganache, um, if anybody's watching tonight, if you can type it down, the recipe, what it was, dead easy. So dark chocolate, two to one. So basically, if you're using 300 grams of dark chocolate, six, 150 grams of cream. cream. Yeah. And um, Julie uses a long life cream like Elm Lee. Um, interesting, on the forum a few months ago, I saw somebody use um, whipping cream to make ganache. I saw that. And um, so when Danielle Critch was here last time, she uses double cream, Julie uses Elm Lee. So I said to um, Danielle, let's try the whipping cream and it came up beautiful. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Don't you remember you were here? No, I wasn't on Danielle. Did you not do that live? I don't think so. Did no. you not? No. Was it a Thursday one she did? Um, or was you on holiday? No, I think I was away. That wasn't when you were in Amsterdam, was it? <laughs> <laughs> <Actually, laughs> <thank you. laughs> When, when really I wasn't in Amsterdam, when you were at the theme park with the kids in London. In London. <laughs> <laughs> that was when it was actually. Thank we you had Danielle on. Critch here in the kitchen, and I said, Oh, Laura's not here today because she's gone to Amsterdam for the weekend. She's on her way back. And then, and then Laura popped up to say hi. And the next day she said to me, uh, Carol, why did you think I was in Amsterdam? So that's where you were, wasn't it? She said, No, I'm at a theme park with the kids in London. <laughs> No idea where I got that no, information from. Me neither. <laughs> oh, <dear. coughs> so you can just smooth this off with your palette knife. Um, if it's hardened up quite a lot, you can use it dipped in hot water. So just have some boiling water with you. But this actually, the, the texture but look at the, it's actually I know, grown it's, to you. I know, but it looks huge it looks now. Huge now yeah. Doesn't yeah. It? You wouldn't yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, you can also use, you know, the um, acrylic smoothers. Mm. Yeah. You can use that to smooth down. Yeah. But we'll just do it roughly. You've just got a little tiny piece missing there, okay. you? Okay. at the Thank top. You. A bit there. Uh, yeah. yeah. It looks yeah. massive, doesn't it? Yeah. Those warehouse boys will be able to enjoy another one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Feed them up before Christmas. I don't know whether we'll give this one to them. They've had a massive cake this week. Yeah, they have already had one. one. Show it between you girls in the office. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> Don't be sending that to the office. Looking at <laughs> I'm eating enough cake tonight. I could take it to the hairdressers. Mm, yeah. I'm in the hairdressers tomorrow. They'd like it. Started taking cake in there as well now. They love it. 
Okay, so I'm not going to be too precious of uh, getting a really, really smooth finish. As I say, it's not a wedding cake. Um, so just be careful. If you spend too long faffing with it, you end up taking more ganache off. Yeah, so it looks good. So sometimes just step away from the cake. And do you ever put your spatula in boiling hot water just to give it a smoother yeah. smooth? Yeah. yeah. Do you want some boiling water? Great. <laughs> It'll slow us down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So just uh, if any of you think you're seeing Julie twice this week, you are. Yeah. Uh, we did have a spare slot this week and uh, I jumped on Julie about filling it. So under pressure, yeah. but to be fair, she was a very good girl. She was actually very easy to battle with. She I filled me with scrambled eggs. I only, had to, <laughs> I only had to buy her scrambled eggs on toast. It was so easy. Scrambled eggs on toast and a cup of tea. Yeah. Man, you should have seen her come with a scrambled egg. It was huge. It was huge. I okay. thought it was bigger than Julie. Yeah, I couldn't stop staring at it as the woman was walking over with it. I thought, <laughs> I was multiplying on the mate. I've not eaten anything since. Yeah. <laughs> just filled you up for the week. <laughs> yeah, I did. Absolutely. Yeah, see me through to the week. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say, it's got, it, could have, it must have filled you for ages because it was huge. It was. <clears throat> okay, let me move those. I'm just going to nick that and have some of that with a cake here. Okay. And I'm just going to wipe down the board because we are going to be covering it with white sugar paste, so I don't want to get all the chocolate ganache mixed into the white sugar paste. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this to a side because I want it to harden up um, and then we'll work on covering the board next. And hopefully by the time we've covered the board... And do you want that to go in the fridge to harden up or leave um, it out? Yeah, it'll be fine. It's quite leave cool it in here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think sometimes if you put it in the fridge, you've got to be careful not to get it too cold because then when you cover it, yeah, you condensation. Yeah. And especially because we're going to airbrush it, so I don't want it to go sticky. Mm. Yeah. I think we'll be fine. I'm sure the audience So lots of techniques yes. today. Cutting, carving, ganaching, yeah. airbrushing. Okay, so I'm just going to have a quick wipe down. No because worries. again, I don't want to get all the crumbs in the sugar paste. We're going to use a 14 inch cake drum. And just so we'll, while, sorry, go on. Go on sorry. I was going to say, just while Julie's clearing down, a very quick reminder. Um, if you can't stay for, with us for the whole live or you've missed any of the bits or if you want to catch up for Monday, um, the live is pinned to the top of our Facebook page. Um, you can also jump over to YouTube and find it on there. Um, it's also on the Facebook must-have, so on the website. So if you shop with us and go over to the website, to the Facebook must-have section, um, it's also pinned on there as well, so you can actually see what Julie's doing as you shop with us, which is a brilliant feature. Um, again, if you're interested in purchasing any of the items that you've seen this evening, just head over to the website, which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And like I say, we've got the Facebook must-have section, and we've also got search by brand and the search bar at the top of the page for you. Sorry for that. That's all right. Don't worry. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> Gives them all, all a chance to get their thumbs up and love hearts up. They all love the ganache. If anybody heard the ganache recipe, if you can write it down for us, fold it for everyone, that would be great. Um, we have said it so many times, the ganache recipe. They don't really change. Don't no. Really have a slight variation. Yeah, very slight. Yeah. yeah. Just make sure there's no crumbs on the rolling pin. See how she strokes that rolling pin there. I love this rolling pin. Yeah, I bet it is. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> you stroke it like I do. <laughs> okay, so I'm just using um, black Renshaw Extra. So we're just going to cover the board. I'm not decorating the board, particularly on this one. Um, we're going to be decorating the stocking instead. Okay. So we're just going to go for a plain black board. Now, some, some of you will see that there's no... Um, corn flour or ice and sugar or treks on the board and um, a lot of you were asking on Monday about this and if you watch what Julie's doing she rolls lifts and turns rolls lifts and turns she doesn't keep rolling all over it it's actually a non-stick board having said that we've got different demonstrators in and they all do different things yeah. I think we had somebody recently who threw ice and sugar Loads. that much ice and sugar over it I wasn't I wasn't sure we'd ever see it yeah see who was that um I think um, Michelle. Um, Michelle from the sugar sisters used the it's the corn flour pouch she's addicted to yes it's a, yeah she loves yeah. it doesn't she it loves yeah. the corn flour pouch <laughs> <laughs> so but you don't need to on these green boards they are non-stick boards having said that that is for a good quality paste. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, it yeah. depends on the brand. So I, I was going to say, this is um, Select Island um, sugar paste, and it's the Platinum range. Well, so that's not. Oh, no, that one is it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the next one. We'll be on that one next. 
ahead of the Sorry, time. I'll just repeat. Oh, yeah, it's a good quality one. This is this yeah, is extra Marenshaw, <laughs> extra black. Well done, Laura. I was actually just checking, Laura, that you have been paying attention. Don't worry. Yeah, you know you've been eyeballing the cake. No, I've got to stop eating. I'm not eating anymore. So that was a deliberate mistake just to see if Laura's paying attention. And as it happens, Maria was paying attention. She just yeah. did in there. And you did, Julie. So well done, Paul. Yeah, you just come back again. Thank you. Okay, so. Like I said, I've just measured the board over the paste to make sure that I've got enough. And I'm just going to put a little bit of water just to stick it on. There. Have we got you a new board for that one, yeah? This one's a new board, yeah. <laughs> you might see that we're using damaged boards. So if we've ever got anything damaged in the warehouse, we bring it here to the kitchen to use it. It's just part of our recycling process, really. We don't really like throwing things away. So, um... No, and it's a shame to use... A yeah. nice new board. And then yeah. uncovering it, yeah. 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 But say so this was a new one that we're covering the new to use one for the cake. Here, but like we've used that one there. Because by the yeah. time we've carved on it and ganached on it and airbrushed on it, it's yeah. not going to be good for anything. No. Yeah. So it would be a waste. Okay, so I'm just going to trim off the excess, remembering not to cut on Carol's board. Good girl. It's been a few days, but I still remember. <laughs> <laughs> I wish everybody else would. <laughs> So these boards, you can chop on these boards, by the way. My son always goes mad because he uses them in his kitchen and they are chopping boards. But I don't, I don't want it as a chopping board. I want it for my sugar paste. Yeah. And when we're doing modeling or we're using them in classes or anything like that, I particularly want it for this. So you can use it as a chopping board if you want to. But if you want to use it for your sugar paste, then don't start slicing your knife all over Yeah, because it. then it's going to get all grooves yeah, in it. Exactly, it's going to be uneven. Yeah. even, the sugar paste will stick yeah. to it then, I would think. I mean, it does, for light marks, it is self-healing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how it self-heals when it's not alive, but apparently, <laughs> <laughs> apparently it does sort of heal yeah. in little light scratches. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I think as, as you're rolling things on it, it sort yes. of yeah. itself out of it. I'm not quite sure, but... Okay, so I'm just going to wrap that up. The magic of the green board. So, yeah, we might use that again yeah. a little bit later. Okay, so that's the board done. And as I say, I'm not doing any lettering or anything on the board. So that's just going to go away for now, just to start hardening up. Yeah. Okay. And the green boards come in three sizes, four sizes actually. We've got two, we've got the culpit one, which is slightly a different shape than this one. I think it's six, is it 600 by 500? Yes. Whereas this one is 600 by four something, isn't yeah. it? I don't know. So anyhow, but and then we've got a medium board and then a small board. The small board we use in all our classes as well. So they're great for like, if you are just having a small space for models. So, and this is the Katie Sue yeah, Nicholas Katie Lodge Sue, mold, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'll use this one on Monday, um, mm -hmm. but we'll show you again. If you remember on Monday, I used the Squares Kitchen flower paste. Yeah. Um, and then I mixed some white in so that we could do the tissue paper effect on the dog. Because it was quite pale and I want to make some holly, all I've done is just added some green um, gel colour just to bring it up to a, a more vivid green. Okay, So cornflower in your mould. I'm just making these now ahead of time so they dry a little bit and also to give the ganache a bit longer to set. Yeah. Okay, So we'll just do some little filler bits that we can pop on at the end. So just smoothing it into all the little nooks and crannies like so and then and then if you've cornflowered it it should just pop straight out yeah if you do have any trouble with them sometimes some of the ketisu and other moulds um if they've got a lot of little fine intricate details it can be hard to get the paste out sometimes you find them even if you've cornflowered they can sometimes stick a little bit uh, if you just pop it in the freezer for a few minutes and that normally helps and it freezes the paste and it pops straight out. So if ever you are struggling, just give that a try. Oops. This paste is quite sticky because I've added the gel colour. There we go. There, and then just flex the mould and pop it out. So we'll make a couple of sprigs of holly. Sprigs, mm, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they call them, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> I think it's got a little bit of mistletoe in there as well. There is, yeah. One, yeah. yeah. It's a nice mould. It's a nice size as well, because sometimes the holly leaves are too small. Yeah, it's tiny. Too big. Yeah. But I found this quite a nice size for cakes. Maybe a bit big for cupcakes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, 
So everybody's liking and sharing, which we were really yeah. pleased about. Oh, yeah. So our first prize winner will be announced on Monday, and then this one will be announced next Thursday. So hopefully you like this idea. I think it just makes it a little bit more exciting, mm, yeah, don't you? Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, you can watch a live and possibly win a £25 gift voucher. Yeah, and then and the, the, it's got a 12-month expiry on the yeah. voucher, but it's just in time for Christmas. So if you did want oh, to treat yourself... Oh, to use it. I was thinking a week. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit tight. Now. I'm joking. It's all right, then. <laughs> no, I wish I was at home watching, so I could share I know. it away. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> But just in time for Christmas, then you can actually treat yourself as well, you know, yeah. instead of buying for nice, everyone else. Yeah. 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 So talking on that, we do sell <laughs> gift vouchers on the website as well. And I've also put all the classes on the website. So I put free classes on for Natalie Porter, save the date. They're £175 a class. We're not sure what she's doing then, but any of you who bought her book, she's definitely doing that pink one on the 6th of June. I've not put an image on there yet, but she's definitely doing the pink one. She's also going to do a, a basics one, which is where you just learn to make all the flowers. She's making flowers all day long and different bits with it, peonies. So you're going to learn how to properly make them. And then I don't know what the class is on the Sunday. So if you want to book on that and take a chance, you've now got an idea that the basics one is probably on the Friday. Pink one is on the Saturday and something else on the Sunday. Georgie Godbow's classes are filling up fast. And we've also got Michael Lewis Anderson, okay, in the kitchen on the 22nd of February. He's in, and if you want to know anything about royal icing, then he is the king of royal icing. So you want to make sure you be in to see him. Amy Archibald with her free tier wedding cake. Sorry, Julie, you carry on making holly. That's it. So um, we'll be in on the first weekend in February. I think it's the first of February, isn't it? I think it is. And she's got some fantastic techniques there. She's going to show you how to make a suede effect, a copper heart, flowers. So she's in on that weekend. That's going to be a two-day class. And then we've also got Emily Coyle in, who is in on the 1st of March. Now, that's a one-day class. Now, it's too long for a one-day, but it's too short for a two-day. So it's actually going to be an 11-hour day class. So it's a long class. Get it all done in one day so if you think about it it'll save you on accommodation you get it all done um, and that's going to be hello autumn so i know it's the start of spring but you know what you need to get home practice so you've got it all ready for when you come to do your autumn cakes or you could adjust it do different colors couldn't you, you could yeah. right so there we go okay so what i've just done rather than get um a flower Probably. drying firmer out of the cupboard um i've just crumpled up some paper towel which if i'm only doing a couple of bits yeah, it's, it's easy it's enough, just it? easy. Yeah. So just scrumple it up and it just gives the shape That's a little fantastic. bit of the flowers of the leaves. Okay, so let's pop that to a side to dry and then we'll get on with the covering cake. Mm, it's dry nicely, that yeah, it's nice, yeah. It's nicely cool in this kitchen. Yeah. yeah. So how come Marie, you're not doing this? <laughs> You spent all day with your coat on. Honestly, you should have seen her in the office today. <laughs> Wrapped up. It's ridiculous. We've got two heaters on. She's got her big coat on, a jumper on, and a scarf. Probably a scarf. I was yeah. about to say, always a scarf. Yeah. <laughs> and she's shaking. That's what you're shaking Yeah, I was shaking before you. <laughs> That's what you're shaking for. So she said... Oh, I don't know. She said, I think I'm being silly because I'm going back to Spain at Christmas and I'm thinking of the sunshine. Thinking of the heat already. <laughs> and that's it. She said, that's all I can think about at the moment. <laughs> Leaving us in the cold. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so as I said, normally if I was doing this at home, I would maybe ganache in the morning and cover it in the afternoon or ganache during the day and cover it the following day, just so that it's nice and hard. Um, like I say, you can put it in the fridge, but then I would bring it back up to room temperature before you cover, just so that you don't end up with lots of stickiness and condensation on it yeah sorry <clears throat> okay so just some white sugar paste now this is the select island platinum <laughs> yes this definitely is yeah so we had Renshaw black extra and this is the select island platinum now this one's proved very popular this year select island so it's a new paste that we brought over this year and it's gone down a storm so select island silk is yeah. doing very very well yeah. that's very, been very well received hasn't it yeah uh, people have loved that and then this is the platinum one and this is what they're basing on um similar to the extra to the master to see you know you can roll it very very thin 
and we have rolled it thin. And um, if Julie rolls this out a bit longer or above her, hold it up in the air and dangle it from the Wow. Sorry to spoil it, but I'm actually going to roll it quite thick. Oh, I know. Okay, okay. We're not rolling it thin no. today. Um, no, because we're going to... But look how flexible it is. It You're is, just picking really it good. up and yeah. lifting it and yeah, pressing it around. Good. A lot of paste, as soon as you pick them up, they start to break. Yeah, down. definitely. No, the reason why we're going to keep it quite thick today is we're going to um, emboss with the sweet stamps before we... I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going but to... But even it. still, this size... You're still picking it up oh, and yeah, it's going with some, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so I think that should about do us. One more roll the other way. Okay, and then... Okay, now, because it's a stocking, this top end here is going to be covered in black because that's going to be like the opening yeah. of the stocking. So if the paste doesn't cover that side, it doesn't matter because we're putting black on there anyway. So I'm going to concentrate more on the bottom end and if it reaches, that's good. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay. So just drape it over. Oh, there's loads, look. <laughs> for all my worrying. Plenty. <laughs> for all my worrying, there's loads. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, there's so loads. we're just going to smooth it over. Yeah. Again, like you would with a normal cake, just pull out the skirt a little bit when you go around the corners. And just smooth in with your hands there. Okay, now obviously this bit <laughs> around here is the bit to be careful with. So what I would do is just lift it up and then with your hand just gently tuck it in. Well that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Like that. that would be the bit that panics me. And rips and you get yeah. a finger mark yeah, in it and absolutely. everything. Yeah. 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 Just lift it and just gently yeah, bring yeah. it in. Okay, and again there, pulling it out. And just smooth him really carefully. So Laura, are we getting any newbies watching? Yeah, there's quite a few this evening. So what we always say is if you're new to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, just introduce yourself and say hi. Um, it's a really friendly bunch here. So there's lots of people who are on our Facebook page, on our community page. Um, and it's really nice to hear that you're new to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. So we do Facebook Live every Monday. Um, we also try and do a, a Thursday one as well, which is obviously this evening, but um, sometimes it just depends how busy we are. Um, but you can always find the details on our actual Facebook page. So we do announce who's on and what time and what days. So if you head over to Facebook, <clears throat> our page is Sugar and Crumbs with the Nifty Nozzles. And then we've also got a community page, which is Sugar and Crumbs All About Cake Community. And that's the perfect place to share your bakes and your creations, ask any questions that you've got, ask for hints and tips and recipes. And again, it's a really friendly page. Um, it's, it's great for sharing ideas and getting hints and tips. If you're stuck on something um, or you just need a little bit of advice, then it's great on there. It is a friendly page and we always say, you know, please have a look at the rules before you post anything. Um, it's much appreciated. It just saves our admins a task of having to message people or, you know, correct anything and stuff like that. But, you know, please keep it nice. It's polite and it's friendly chat. So that's what our aim is, basically. Well, we look at it. If you've nothing nice to say, <laughs> move on. Yeah. Say no. <laughs> Absolutely. If you don't like what you're reading, <clears throat> move on. Yeah, say you don't no. have to comment. And we don't want you to advertise on there because there's two reasons. It's the Sugar and Crumbs website uh, page. And the only people who should be advertising on there is ourselves. But more so, I don't actually want advertising on there because if I allow advertising on there, before I know it, we're going to have 24,000 people filling the feed up with advertisements. Yeah. And that's one of the biggest issues that we don't want it on there. So no advertising, no suggesting anything. Let's just keep it about pretty pictures of cake, how to make ganache, how to make your favourite recipe. That's what it's for. And if you use anything from Sugar and Crumb Shop, then, you know, of course, please do mention that. Um, we don't fill the page up with advertising ourselves. We use our own Facebook page for that. Yes. Um, so we just want to keep it all about cake. And I'd be very grateful if you abide by the rules. Saves me a load of hassle. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just tucking in... Where's the best place? On yours or that one that? I'll do it that way. So just with my Dresden, I'm just tucking underneath to give it a little bit more of a rounded... Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So all I did was I trimmed the paste first and then That's trimmed it sort of quite quite wide yeah. to get rid of the excess, then went in a little bit closer to and then you can just tuck the paste in. I that looks okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay, so you just quickly do that all the way around. So you can use a, a dressed in tool or this one is called the flute um <laughs> 
That's what the flute and vein, and vein yeah. it was. So this yeah. is the FMM flute and vein, or you can use the PME Gem um, Dresden tool. Both tools are excellent, about the yeah. same in price as well, but they're both yeah. excellent. Do I've the same. Yeah, I've got both, and they, um, they do the same job. But you know what? It's a tool that you really do need. Yeah. If you haven't got one, this tool does bail you out a lot of trouble. As yeah. Natalie Porter calls it, a ickle bicky pokey, pokey tool. tool. I know Zoe Fancy Cakes <clears throat> uses it all the time. You use it all, oh, all the time. Oh, I use it for everything. You, it's, everything. Amazing, it's amazing how handy it all yeah. comes in, doesn't it? Oh, like there, you're just scraping that little bit of paste off. Yeah. Uh, again, on the top edge, I'm not so bothered because we're going to be covering it over in black. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. And then just run your hands around just to smooth any edges. Careful not to get the ganache <laughs> off the board onto the white cake. Although, as I say, we are airbrushing over it, so yeah. it's not going to be the end of the world. Lots yeah, of but you can spend you doing today. You yeah. can spend longer yeah. doing that and getting a nicer effect. Okay, so what we're going to do today with the um, embossing, with the Amy's Sweet Stamps, we're going to use the elements today and we're going to press them into the stocking. We're not going to take them out, we're going to leave them in, airbrush over the top and then when you take them out you should see the white behind Fantastic. it. Fantastic. That's the idea. Again, I don't think that's a technique we've used here. Have you not used that on here before? Fabulous. I think we've done it with stencils. Have we done it with the elements? What's that? No, when we use the stamp with the six, oh. we've done more than those. Ah, yeah, yes. so she did party time. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're going but to it's use... it's nice because we've only done it once. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was way back in February. We're using this candy set, which is very cute because sometimes at Christmas you're going to stuff, yeah. stuff your stocking with sweets. Well, if um, you remember, the old-fashioned um, stocking was sweets. Yeah. That's what you and got. A tangerine. Yeah, yeah that's tangerine. it. You got a tangerine, you got sweets, you got an apple, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. yeah. You got a selection box. A little toy ball. Yeah. Isn't it? That's how stockings should be. They were. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to oops, press it down really quite firm so that that stays in place. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to use an assortment. I'm not going to go too high up because we're going to be putting a fair trim as well. So remember to leave some space for that. Okay, so just press it down nice and firmly. This is another good reason for using ganache under. If you used buttercream underneath, it wouldn't sink down as far yes. because the buttercream kind of collapses with it and it's a lot softer, whereas the ganache is firmer so you can press on. Again, if you've let it set harder, the ganache, it's going to be even better. Okay, so I'll just give it a good press. I've got my nephews coming up at um, Christmas, so I think I'll get them to make cake pops. That's a good idea. Yeah, well, they're actually staying in here. Oh, so, right. okay. Be a great place for <clears throat> make a mess. <laughs> there we go. So we'll just dot a few around. Like so. And there's always these, also these really good um, Christmas elements as well, with some lettering, so holly wreath, and some holly. Okay, so you could use those as well. I think I'll just stick with the sweets for now. Mm. But those would be equally mm. as good. But it also shows you the yes. sweets. It'd be nice to see the sweets as well because then you can use them for other things in the summer or something. Yeah, you, or other things. absolutely. They're going to be great for like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory cakes. Yeah. Things like that, aren't they? Anything for the kids. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get on to airbrushing next. And I'm going to use Fractal. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use this one, which is the lipstick red colour. Um, it just has a nice bit of a shine to mm -hmm. it, okay, which is really, really nice for Christmassy things. So I've got my airbrush. I'm just going to move that out of the way. I'm going to put the cake on a turntable so that I can move it around while I'm airbrushing. Yeah. It's going to be a lot easier. So we're using a new airbrush today. Um, I've decided to put a selection of airbrushes on due to customers' request. A few people have said, because we only sold the Dinky Doodle. So the Dinky Doodle is a fabulous airbrush. We absolutely love it. We support Dawn Butler 100%. So we do love our airbrush. Um, but a few people have asked us, will we bring in a couple of other airbrushes? So we brought in PME, and we brought in the Spectrum one, and we brought in the Colour Splash. So while Julie was here today, I said to Julie, you've not used this one before, have no, you? No, I've not used this one. So I said to Julie, you know what, let's give it a go. Yeah. First time use, let's see what it's like. Yeah. So, okay. so all, all the airbrushes are on the website and they're all in the must-have wish list. 
brilliant. So one thing to note as well with these, because they're a little bit metallic-y, is to give them a really, really, really good shake. I love that lipstick perfect. I do. I did, um, that was for a tutorial for Kit Decoration Sugar Craft Magazine. I did um, like a Valentine's balloon heart, like um, a gravity defying thing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to pop some in. Don't overfill the airbrush cup. This one's got quite a big cup on it, actually. Yeah. Okay, we can always add some more. I actually not see it's the first time I've seen it out of the packaging, actually. And always have some kitchen towel to hand. Oh, here you go. Just leave it out of the way. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> always have I was in for a closer looking at the cake. <laughs> <laughs> always um, still and sound like dastardly the dog. Is <laughs> it called dastardly? Mutley. Mutley. It's it's mutley. Sorry, we haven't got dastardly from. It's mutley. Mutley. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so it has got a nice little lid. There we go. Do you and think the lid's worth using? Sometimes, it depends how slapdash you are, if you're kind of quite excited with mm. yourself. I've got both. <laughs> I like that. Kind of yeah, if you get a bit excited when you're airbrushing. Sloshes about, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can look yeah. a bit. Um, yeah, don't throw any over Maria, she got covered in blue stuff the other week. A little pink thing that I had underneath that was stopping it. Oh, the reason. gripper. Yeah. Oh, we moved the gripper. We moved it. We, are, we do have loads. That's fine. Just so that it wasn't vibrating around uh, yeah. on the uh, table. There we go. Okay, so on this one, it's nice little it's, isn't it? Because mm. it has yeah. toned it down, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not so loud. And sometimes it can vibrate and vibrate off the edge. And, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah like that. good. Um, you can alter and be able to hear it, maybe. Yeah. So Slow that you can it down, get it slower. Yeah. yeah. We sell the little pink grippers, I think there's little square ones. That was, I think the that was one that was yeah. 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 very good. much money out Okay, so just test. Can you see it? Yeah. Move that out of the way. Just test a little bit first to make sure that you're happy with the colour. Sometimes you might mix colours, mm. um, so always just give it a spray to make sure. And then, nozzle pointing down, uh, just gently uh, brushing over the top. Uh, again, because I am doing white at the top here, and we're covering that with black, I'm not too concerned um, about airbrushing the whole cake. Yeah. It's just the bits that we need airbrushing. I'll just show them then. So we sell these in packs four, and they're dead handy for all sorts of things. And they still hold your cake on the board as well, so it's just that little piece. Um, we sell them in all different sizes, but the pack of four one I think is really handy. That white one there is from the little pink board that we used. You know the little, you know these green boards. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, pink and well. ones. Okay, so you may notice I'm going around and around and around on the cake. I'm not concentrating on one area. So just light coats. Yeah. It's called building up the layers. It's called it? building up the layers. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take that off now. Yeah. Just gently move I love the way it suddenly starts to appear. Yeah. It seems for ages that it's... It's just not, bits, yeah, yeah, bits of colour. And then but suddenly... Then. Well, everyone's well. loving it how it comes together. And so many people are nervous of using an airbrush. Yeah. And I was really nervous as well. I still don't get it out very often. But when it, you do have to get it out and play with it. Don't yeah, you? you do. You, you do. have to just have a play. So, um, yeah. Definitely. So everybody's loving the live, Julie. Brilliant. Really pleased that you've come back again. Would you just like to tell them your Facebook page and your website so that they can go and get that free tutorial? Yeah, absolutely. So on my website, it's www.juliescakeinabox.co.uk. You'll need to go along to the classes tab at the top. It's like the little menu bar. If you go onto the classes tab and onto my classes, um, there'll be like a little photo part way down of the dog. Click on there um, and you'll be able to access it from there. And that's free of charge, that's which is charge. really very good. And just so you know that Julie will be doing private classes next year at her yep. own home in Yorkshire. Yep. So, so for you guys who don't like travelling far from Yorkshire, we'll get you over to Julie's instead. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hoping to have my own little studio at some point. Well, it sounds very exciting yeah. from what you've told me earlier. Yeah, hopefully. Hey. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just adding a little bit more red in. Oops. I've opened it fully. It's a proper drop of that, is it? When it you is. Drop it, it's yeah. really good though. I like the way that those bottles yeah. are. I can be quite heavy handed sometimes for somebody so small. I think a lot of people are, and you can't put it back in once you've poured it out, no, so it's best no. to go and small I tend to enough spill it, in, it quite often as well. So, so, again, because I've refilled, I'm just going to test it 
on my kitchen towel to make sure that I'm still happy. Um, just in case sometimes you can get a little blockage. Um, so yeah, just before you go on to your cake, yeah. always just give it a little test. Can you see the shine on it now? Yes. Can you catch that shine on it? It's, dark, it's really difficult. It just catches the light as it turns. Yeah. So I do really, get that the, the metallic, metallic it's just yeah. going through now, isn't it? Yeah, like it. Yeah. So another good thing about building up the colour lightly is as you're airbrushing different areas, that part's drying while you're airbrushing yeah. the rest. So you can yeah. just keep going. Um, the last thing you want is to end up with your, your project absolutely wet through. Yeah. The end. And what does the speed do on that then? It alters the speed, so it's like for control. So if you're wanting to do some really fine weight, you know, on a really low speed, ah, it right. saves. Sometimes with some of the um, single speed ones, you have to alter it with the trigger. Right. So the further back you pull, right, the faster the paint comes right, out. Right. Yeah. Which, especially if you're um, a beginner, yeah, it can be. Yeah, that's quite, quite difficult. Yeah. That's good to know. I wondered what the speed meant. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Did you know, Laura? No. no. So again, if you're using. Um, Words. If you're using, like if you're covering a whole cake, mm. a faster speed is going to do it quicker. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I just showed that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining us tonight. Please do get those thumb outs, love outs going for Julie. Coming back twice in a week is amazing. We're really very, very pleased. And again, to show you some fabulous hints and tips, you know, ganaching, um, covering a cake, um, using an airbrush bit of carving you know you know a simple thing it's, mm. a, it's a stocking but you know a simple thing never thought about carving off the edge for the stocking and to give it that rounded round shape you know we would have had square ones us julie if you ever showed us <laughs> so, <laughs> which is great so do make sure you let julie know pop over to her page if you want that free tutorial pop over to her website and also like and share yeah. like and share this facebook live tonight in with a chance it's a new thing that we're doing and that's it we just want you to be all part of it we know that you're regulars but you know what let's get some more regulars let's get this audience growing let's get more and more people watching our demonstrators in the sugar and crumbs kitchen and it was really nice as well um, when I got home after the live I had a quick look on Monday night when I was here but it's really nice to read all the comments and people have messaged me. Yeah, you were surprised yeah. how many there was, weren't Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I was asking her today, I said, how did you go on? She said, Carol, I didn't realise how many there were. Oh, it was really, really kind. And then she does what we all do. You get to a point where you can't do any more because you're tired. Yeah. But then you don't want to stop because you don't want other people thinking, well, why did she not say she's not like mine? I was there trolling all the way through and I'm like, I can't stop now or else I'll forget where I'm up to yeah. as well. And like I said, I didn't want to upset anyone. Oh. <laughs> so I just sat there and kept going. <laughs> Good girl. So if I did miss anyone, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> oh, I wasn't delivered. I don't know what We haven't fell out with you. No. no, absolutely not, no. Okay, so. Love that. That's it's really shiny. It's got quite an even You could just keep going and keep going. The more you airbrush, the deeper the colour's going yeah, to be. Yeah. But obviously... You don't want to sit there for half an hour watching me. <laughs> I don't know with the like they might. Okay, so and it's nice to know that if they keep building up layers, yes, the it deeper will. it goes, that's a yeah, good thing to know. Absolutely. And then when you wow. just lift off the stamps, love that. I'll pop them over there because I don't want to mix them in with the clean ones. Yeah, love that. Okay, and that will just leave. That's love that. Great. Such a nice idea, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's really good as well. So, so for instance, if you were maybe a little bit nervous about painting them, so you don't have to actually yeah. paint them, yeah. or you could go in then afterwards you could go and in, paint yeah. them into a different colour. Absolutely, you know that would be nice, yeah. wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, right, that's your next job, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might just, I might just slow down a bit. <laughs> no, it's a good idea to leave yeah. it like that, or go yeah. in and paint. Yeah. Or you could put the uh, pixie pearls. I was going to say the yeah. little sprinkles, yeah. 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 or the sprinklicious non yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. um, have we got some more icing, Carol? Uh, the, the, the stuff that we had the other day. Yes. Right. Yeah. Just, I only need a little blob just to stick. Right. Can you put it in the microwave again, or? Uh, oh, actually, it's just there. Hang on. It's just there. Is it stuck See, it's still soft. Beautiful that cake. Oh, actually, no, we can get away yeah, with that. Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, that's good. fine. Good. Good. It's only for using. I, just got I was enjoying myself watching. <laughs> I think I stood the end of the kitchen. I've been sitting off. I have to watch that live again on Monday. I can't believe I've sat here in the kitchen oh, and missed the bits I, I wanted to watch. Funny, <laughs> absolutely funny that. 
I've never been so excited to know about Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> Missed it. Missed the whole thing. The board. <laughs> Missed how to do the lift. <laughs> Missed the stripes. Missed the whole lot. I don't know what I was doing. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, like I said, this is only to fix it onto the board, so it should be okay. I never could have microwaved it a little bit, actually. Do you want me to microwave it? Yeah, do you mind? No. Just in case. If it, was, <laughs> if it was on a board that had been done the day before, so it had dried and set, it would be fine. But because this paste is still probably quite yeah. soft, if I put it on when it's really, really thick, it's going to yeah, drag the drag it, paste. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't want to do that. We don't want to spoil it, do we? Yeah. So we'll just wait for that a second. Um, and then well, Laura can do a little shout out if you. Oh yeah, okay then. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So just very quickly, if you've missed any of the live already, or you can't stay with us for the whole session, just catch up when we're finished. That we're pinned to the top of our Facebook page. Um, so head over to Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nozzles. Um, and the community page we were talking about before is called Sugar and Crumbs All About Hate Community. So it is a different page um, if we've got any newbies with us this evening. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the items that you've seen on the live this evening, head over to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, which is our website. You can shop by brand, use the search bar at the top of the page, or you can go to the Facebook Live Must Have section and you'll find everything there under Julie's name. Yeah. Sorry, Judy, I think I interrupted you there. I think you was about to say something and I said, God, Laura can. So what was oh, no, say? no, no, it's fine. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's not catching what I got, is it? <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say two, two minutes ago. Okay, so just a little bit of icing, uh, royal icing, just to secure it onto your board. You could have used... to watch your microwave. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know you could microwave yeah. it. Yeah. I would yeah. never have known to do that. Yeah, it's fab. Okay. Yeah, just firm back up again as well. Yeah, that's really good. And then I'm just going to use just a long palette knife um, just to transfer it onto the board. So I'm going to go in underneath um, at the top end because I'm going to be covering over that again with black. Yeah. So if I do accidentally dint anything, it's not going to matter because it's getting covered up. And I didn't stick it to the board, so hopefully it should come off really easily. Okay. Look at it on that black against that black. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So you can go around with your tool and just neaten up any edges yeah. if you need to. Super. Yeah, because it's just got a little bit of royal icing yeah. quite a little there. Pickle picky pokey tool oh, and yeah. that. Absolutely. Or a wet paintbrush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just as good as well. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I like that wet paintbrush. Yeah. Really useful, isn't it? Just be so, careful because we've airbrushed. If you um, get the water on the airbrush paint, it's yeah, going to take it off. off. Yeah. Okay. Loads of hints and tips. Yeah, that's what everybody loves it. They've learned so much. On Monday, the amount of people who were saying how much they learned, yeah. they just loved it. So, uh, so guys, where are you all tonight? You on the settee? Husband's yeah. making you a brew, are we? Are we on the settee? Are we in the toilet? I know. Yeah. Have we gone to the <laughs> toilet? Yeah. Yeah. Tesco's. Yeah. yeah. We're going to with the husband. I don't know how many people we slept with on Monday. Slept with you, do we? Well, actually, I don't know whether we're sleeping with them. Well. We're in bed. Have <laughs> the weren't sleeping. I know. <laughs> so let us know where you are now. Yeah, so as I say, you can just go around the edge and just tuck that back in. But again, be careful because if you expose the white icing underneath. Yeah. If you did, you could just touch it up with a yeah, little, little bit of brush. Bit of paint yeah. brush. It's really good how that airbrush has gone through those elements there. Yeah, the it's detail, great. Isn't it? It's it really good, great. It? I think we'll, um, yeah, we always say as well, if, you've, if you recreate any of the creations you see on the live, post them on our community yeah. page. Um, because we give you the ideas, well, Julie gives you the ideas, you can run with them yeah. you do as much as or as little as you want from yeah. the, the tips that yeah. you've seen but it's great to see everyone's creations and everyone's take on it yeah it was lovely when i came in um i think was it back in july when i did the makeup yeah bag. so many people, How many did, people that, did that did yeah yes. really but good it's a nice feeling that you've done a tutorial yes and people want to copy it yeah i mean that's and even though they're all a bit different yeah it's just nice because that really came from you didn't it yeah absolutely it's yeah. really nice i mean it's lovely i love doing the tutorials for the magazines and things like that but you don't get that same feedback yeah because i don't know if anybody ever makes no you don't know who bought the magazine yeah. or who yeah. did make yeah. it no. whereas at least in the community when you post all the photos i can see that you've done it yeah it's really really lovely Great. So, yeah. so absolutely yeah. um okay so we're just going to do a little bit of black on the top of the stock in there, yep. just to give the illusion that it's open um, yeah, and full of sweets. Yeah. Okay. 
and you've gone back to the Renshaw so Extra Black. Back to the Renshaw Extra Black, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> like yeah, so do let us see what you make because it is good ideas. But everybody is loving this tutorial and they're really grateful that you've come back. They are, I'm yeah. very grateful. Yeah. And they're very grateful that you've come back. I'm really tired. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. And you've got a massive weekend, haven't you, this weekend? So, yeah. how many cases have you got going out tomorrow? Um, four. <laughs> I've nearly so finished them. She's, she's, she's gone home, baked it as much as she can, done what yeah. she can, in the freezer, got things ready, yeah. and then she's here to fly back home tomorrow to get them yeah. all out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's one we can the, do it. Yeah, one with the cruise ship on. Um, I can't even remember what I've done. One with the cruise ship, um, and one with some dinosaurs. Yeah, there's, there's all sorts going on. Brilliant. Out. It's fab. Don't worry, I'm not bleeding, it's just the air. Oh, blood. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to pop a little bit of water onto the end here on the white. But again, I'm just being really, really mindful that I've used airbrush colours, yeah. which will come off with water. So just be careful where you go with your water on this point. Okay. And then I'm just going to lay that on. Make sure you get down to your board. So again, if you've covered your board in plenty of time in advance, um, it's helpful because then you can really press down onto it and then just trim off any excess. And do remember, we are doing a demonstration for you. So we are doing it at speed, but you can take as long as you want at home. Yes. You don't have to be going at this, this speed. <laughs> you know, just watch it. And you know, sometimes it's just good to get the tutorial mm. up again. You've got everything here now. So when you want to make it yourself, get it up, stop and do it. Stop yeah. and do it. That'd be yeah. good to make it with you then, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. That's great. Like that. Easy. Yeah, easy peasy. Okay, and then the next bit to do is the white trim over the top for like the fairy bit mm. yeah. of the stocking. Right, I'm just going to quickly wipe my fingers, mm -hmm. get rid of that black sugar paste, mm -hmm. because obviously the next white bit we're not, um, we're not ever sure it's going to stay white. So yeah. So guys, we've got lots of offers on. If you go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to the homepage, there's several sections there, but if you go to what's on offer, we've got the Christmas boxes in and a few other things. Um, if you go to the FB must-haves, um, we've changed the name, we keep repeating this, we've changed the name to Face Facebook Lives Must-haves, simply because this new website has a wish list. If somebody wants to know what the wish list means, basically, as you like things, you can keep popping them in so that when every time you do your shopping, if it gets to a certain point, you can just add one thing at a time and yeah. then to yeah. eventually get through your wish list. Um, or you save things or ideas. Um, so that's what that is. But the Facebook must-haves, everything is over there. Maria's done a great job as usual putting everything in. Okay, so I've just rolled a sausage, roughly measured over the top of the cake so that it's, yeah. it's about the right size. Okay, and then just with a rolling pin, Gonna flatten it down a bit more to widen it um, than anything because obviously you want to make sure that it's going to cover up the gap in between where you've airbrushed and you haven't yeah. okay and then you can just shape it a bit with your fingers because again a bit like when we did the dog on monday it's not it's not a perfect flat. it's yeah because it's the fairy yeah. part it is going to be a little bit uneven where the fair lies So then if we just try that over the cake, just to see, yeah, I think that's going to be about right. Okay, and then what Doesn't you want it look to like do, it look at it. is just make sure that, is that? that you are overlapping. You're dreaming about it, Maria. Oh, so you've over it at the top. So it's overlapping, yeah. can you see it there? Yeah, that it makes just it a little more, bit. It, doesn't yeah. it? Rather than being right at the yeah. top. Um, yeah, Because the black is the inside, so it wants to yes. look like it's yeah. the inside. Yeah, Okay. good idea. You're not saying a lot today, you are you? very quiet. Have you spoke today? Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just going to cut the paste. As you cut the paste, try and tuck it underneath ah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Just so it looks like it's yeah, it's going, going round. Yeah. yeah. And then if need be, you can always go in 
with your Dresden, make sure it's clean and just pop that in and then the same at the other side. Okay, so we're cutting down at an angle and tucking the end off and the paste away. Okay. And we're just meeting off any scraggly bits. I don't know if that's an option saying scraggly bits. Yeah, we say yeah. scraggly bits. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Everybody understands. We know what you mean. Or the You may need, <laughs> need a translator. <laughs> okay, so there's the basics of the stocking. What we're going to do next is we're going to do some lettering over the top part. How are we doing for time? Uh, you're brilliant. One ten. Oh, we finished early. All the time in the world. Yeah. Okay. Tea. They Hello. won't know what to do with themselves. Uh, yeah. I'll have a cup of tea and come back to yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> We might have a workout another live. Let's see what we can talk into. <laughs> yeah, next. see if we can see if we can start to come back. Let's go and look over our website, right, Julie? Uh, what, what else can you do? Um, I'm going to use that same set of what were these called? Candy, candy, candy set. The candy set. So you've got the candy elements that you've used on yeah. the on the right. and these, these are the candy, candy lettering, the upper and lower case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you could do as well, oh, if like you wanted, that. is use one of the Christmas yeah. elements. And put that on. Oh, that would I think be I like that, actually. But I like this. I one. like the letters. I like I that style of letters. We're going to put Xmas. Ah, right, when I enough. did, I did a practice run at home just to make sure that it worked and I could do it in time. Um, and I actually put my name because I never get a cake. Oh, <laughs> nobody ever makes I me a cake. You never get one yourself, no, though, do you? No, no. no. absolutely. Nobody yeah. ever makes me one. So yeah. I put my own name on it. So you yeah. could, if you're doing it at home, you could put somebody's name yeah. on, you could put Merry Christmas, you could put Xmas, yeah. whatever you want to put on it. But yeah. I think it's quite nice with a name on. Yeah, it is. And we made sure we got the X the right way around. <laughs> Just to a check with the pad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so just space those out. I mean, obviously, if you wanted to put a long message on, if you wanted Merry Christmas, you'd be better off with the elements yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's it done on, for you, isn't it, as well? Yeah, absolutely. It saves you so much time. Are you going to paint these in as well? Of course. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. You've got me paranoid now. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put them in position first where I want them. Is that a bit? That looks okay, isn't it? I'm upside down, I can't see. Turn around if you want. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they can see under this one. Yeah. see under that one. And they can see, see this one here? Well. They yeah. can see it's exactly the right way, so we're everywhere. Oh, yeah. gosh. All the yeah. angles. Yeah. And because I've used all capitals, I'm not going to worry about the joining up yes, with the flicks yeah. and things. That's it. So once you're happy, we're just going to press that in. Like that, one at a time. Okay, and then just put them in pairs. Oops, just put that one back in just to make sure that I know exactly where all the bits are. And after my adventure last time when I came, when I forgot my glasses and I couldn't see what I was painting, yeah. I remember to bring my glasses this time. I didn't care. <laughs> that was the first the thing, thing that went I went in. I have to look close up, I have to take my glasses off, anyway. <laughs> and I yeah. wear very vocals. <laughs> Maybe see, I'm the opposite way around, I need it for the close detail. Yeah. Um, or else I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm prepared today. Yeah. I have them. Good girl, they're nice, I remember like them. Capkids. Eh? Capkids. Oh, are they? Oh. Oh, nice I need some new ones actually because I think I must need stronger ones. I put off getting them for years and years and years because I always had it in my mind that as soon as I get them, that's it, my, I'm just going to not see. Um, so I held off and held off and held off and I actually got these about a year, two years ago and already I'm thinking, oh, yeah. I need some new ones. Yeah. So we're using honey gold. Yeah. I've got my glasses on so I that, shouldn't I? <laughs> So this is the Sweet Sticks Edible yeah. Paints. There's a massive range of colours on the website for these. And we've, um, just, we've, put we've just put them into the new bundles that are, are pre-prepared for you. So you don't have to choose one of the pastels. You don't have to choose one of the metallics. They're in sets of eight if you want to actually buy the sets now. Um, a nice saving on them as well. Yeah, they're a really good price. And then we do sell the colours individually as well. If there's one in particular that you find you use more of. Um, so we have got stock of the single colours as well, so you can top that bundle up. But then rather you having to buy the whole pack again, just buy the colour that you need. But they're, they're lovely sets, that the, the colours that have been put into the sets are really nice. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. 
You have to excuse me if I've got my concentration face. Don't on. worry. No, right. You keep concentration face. I don't well. often have my concentration face. Well, we can read out a few comments. So I'll tell you what everybody's saying. Everybody's saying how fantastic tonight's live is, how they've absolutely loved it. Uh, there's a few people shared the ganache recipe, which is amazing. Yeah. Well done to that as well. Um, and also, also we have the sale on of the sweet stamp, so it's nice on two demonstrations this week. People have been able to see how they're used in a different technique altogether. Yes, yes. So like we've not used a pickup pad, um, just push them in, which is the way I like to do them as well. I like to just push them in. Um, so it's nice to see how they've been painted in. Um, so everybody is really very pleased and you give them lots of thoughts for ideas. So Brilliant. it'd be nice to see what everybody else makes. Because I was thinking as well, like on the on the side there, and I think so, I saw somebody else mention it. You can make a little model dolly or yeah. some stockings yeah. or little presents, a little, little teddy or yeah, anything yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, little pop out thing. So, yeah, if you pick up some things from other lives that you may have learned, yeah. you can um, put them all together. Because you can use bits and bobs from other people's oh, lives, yeah. can't you? Well, yeah, because we've had um, you know Karen Davies molds. She's got the teddy molds and things like yeah. that. You know. You know, if you what like Julie's done on the penguin, if you used to use some of the knitted yeah. molds or you know, knitted piece molds and stuff like that, you can make um, you know, little characters to go by the side yeah. of it or popping out of the top. And I think that white bit there, you know, the chunky rib, Karen yes. Davies' yes. chunky rib, that would look nice, yeah, yeah. Uh, for the boot for the going yeah. over the boot there, yeah. Wasn't it? yeah. And she used that for the scarf on last week's yes. demo, and there yeah. lots of people bought that one. Yeah, so, you really know what? Cool. Go and get your molds out and utilize them. You, yeah. know, you don't have to keep buying everything new, but it's nice that you've all bought these tools off us this year, and it's nice to see you using them, and that's what we want to see mm. you doing. So, everybody's really pleased that you've come back. They can't believe how lucky they are to have mm -hmm. you back. Um, I'm not going to tell you where everybody's sat, so I don't know how many beds we're sat <laughs> oh, in tonight. No. <laughs> I was thinking the other thing that would look nice on this as well is do you know those um, cut out shapes that yeah, you were showing us at the beginning? That's a good idea. If you were not, yeah. yeah, you could even put those on. You could use the sweet stamps and airbrush the board if you yes. want to airbrush yeah. the um, stocking. Yeah. Then you could just cover the stocking in red, yeah. sugar paste, but emboss an airbrush onto your board. Onto the board, that's a nice idea. Yeah, yeah well, why don't we? We've got some presents there. Let's put those on. We can stick them on the side. Just maybe put three yeah. presents together on one side. Yeah, we'll put those on the board. Yeah. That's it. Julie's giving you the basic ideas of, you know, what to do, how you can do it. You and then the obviously yeah. you can take this as far as you want, as much or as little detail on it as you want. You don't even have to airbrush. You can use just coloured coloured um, sugar paste if you prefer. You know, yeah. if you are scared of your airbrush, they could just luster it with the fake hair and luster. Yeah, we've got yeah. luster dust. We've got the um, finishing sparkle, for example. You could even use the um, dusting effects that Hillary's shown you before with the actual, you know, buffing of the dust over the sugar paste, for example, painting it on. Um, there's loads of different methods and techniques that we've shown you over the past, you know, well, nearly a year. Yeah. Um, this year alone, we've, we've been through so many different products and ideas on the lives. You know, just have a look back and get some ideas of what we've shown you and what bits and pieces you might already have purchased. Um, and show us what you do with your creations. It's great to see them. Absolutely. I'm just going to pull off a few of these, Julie, yeah. so that you can make use of a couple of them. Brilliant. Right, I've got a North Pole here. Do you want to use that North Pole? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll use anything. It's quite, it's just a bit, a bit different. It's nice to think like for the kids to stick yeah, on, isn't absolutely. it? Yeah, absolutely. And then they can feel part of it. Yeah. yeah. But you can do all the really crafty parts. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, do, you do the painting. But some of our kids get bored after a bit. They just want to do the sticky on yeah. stuff, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Have you noticed that when you're making a cake, the kids only want to do the... Um, the mixing, yeah, that's putting it. it in, but once yeah. it's in the oven, they're not interested, no. are they? No. And they need um, it to be ready straight away. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Don't want to wait for anything. There we go. That's great. So that's the honey, col honey gold, and it's the Sweet Sticks edible yeah. paint range, and there are loads of colours available. <clears throat> that's I really lovely. like those because quite often, if you're using Mixing up a luster dust with some yeah. uh, alcohol or anything, you don't always get a brilliant consistency. Yeah, it's sometimes it's sometimes yeah. you don't need to layer it up, don't you? Yeah. Mm. Whereas that, I prefer. Yeah, like it's lovely. Okay, ta da! Fantastic, <laughs> well done. What so do you all think? We'll finish off with some. I have to say, I think it's amazing. Gorgeous. I know we did have a glue out somewhere. We did, yeah.
I think it looks amazing, Julie. You've done really very Thank well. Thank you. And we it's... are very, very grateful. That's okay. Um, so you could do green for the stocking. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be a red stocking. Yep. You could do stripes. Oh, John's visiting the kitchen again. I tell you what, Julie. I don't know what you're doing to my husband. He doesn't normally get visitors. He was in on Monday, nosy in. Hello, John. Hello. Right. Right. Now he's in here now, nosing. <laughs> so again, you can use any colour ribbon around the board. Bye, John. <laughs> he doesn't appear on camera. <laughs> well, he has to next year, I've told him. Because I want us to try and do three lives a week. Wow. So that means you're doing one, Karen's doing one, John has to do one. <laughs> He's so excited. He's so excited. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Okay, so how do we I don't know what you want to use. What do we stick them on with? Water. Just water. Yeah, Brilliant. just a bit of water. So see behind you, see what that's done on that cake behind you. Yeah. And just play. Okay. Might ruin, it might ruin your cake, but at least people oh, can see how they use them. Yeah, but. absolutely. But at least it's really good because you can just stick them on and see what you think. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to use them all, just peel them all yeah. off for you. Oh, I can't the Christmas. And then the kids can eat all the scraps. I know, yeah. <laughs> In my case, me. Rudolph. There, I think Rudolph. Because then we don't forget we made the holly as well. So yes. Yeah, put the holly on the board. Yeah, so, you don't have to put them on. There's some presents like there. Them. I want to put some presents on instead. It depends, I quite like Santa and Rudolph. Yeah, okay, super. Uh, I don't think that was the brush that I was using, but oh well. It's in the water. Okay, so just a bit of water on the back them on. But I say again you can put anything else yeah. Yeah, that you want on the board, you can use the stamps, um, like I say you can make a model like you've said. Mm -hmm. You could if you wanted, go on. get this, if you put it on a bigger board, put the stocking down at the bottom, you could do the dog head. <gasps> oh, oh, the of course. There we go. Yeah. Mm, that's a that. nice idea. And combine the two. Get a big board out, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. <laughs> <coughs> what did you say? We have some spare time. <laughs> <laughs> and, oops, let's, um, and then you can just finish off with your bits of holly. So again, a little bit of water. Yeah, that's nice. That really finishes it off, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So there we that's go. Really wow. Ta-da! Finished early. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> well, well, get now. those love hearts going, everybody. What do we think? They're already going. Everybody <laughs> yeah. has loved it. Julie, I can't tell you how much everybody has loved this Brilliant. live tonight. Fabulous. And, uh, for. Absolutely. Thanks for coming back for. Absolutely. Yeah. And do you know yeah. what I like about this one? The one that you made on Monday mm. was fantastic, and you made it look so easy. And uh, but this one, I think it, I think on Monday, if correct me if you're wrong, I think everybody thinks they can do it. And yes, there's no reason why they can't. Yeah, but this one, I'm sure yeah. everybody oh, knows they can do it. So now you know how yeah. to do yeah. it. So if you do ever panic and you feel that one's a bit too much, mm. you've showed them an easy, yeah. easy one, really, really and easy it's one. just so effective. So can you see that down there? Um, or am I best off there? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And am I best off turning it round that way? Uh, you can, yeah. Oh, sorry. Am I right. messing your cameras yeah. around? Yeah, but it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with you. Oh, okay then, no problems. 
Right, okay then. So let's just go through everything again then. Do remember to like and share this. So like and share this live. Share it with all your friends, especially your cakey friends. But share it with anybody else that you might think would, it would be interested in cake. You know, we're giving you this learning experience. We will be nearly three years old of doing Facebook Lives in January. Wow. Exactly. So we're one month off of doing Facebook Lives for three years every single Monday. We've done a hell of a lot of Thursdays. We've done a lot of Wednesdays as well. And we've tried to pop up here, there and everywhere, wherever we can. Do remember, I do do this free of charge. I don't charge anybody and we're never going to charge. We offer a fun learning experience in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And you know what? We don't play by the rules. So I don't have my hair pinned up. I've got my nails on. But this cake isn't for the general public. Anything we make in here isn't for the general public. It's generally the staff eat it. And my doggy walker gets it, the hairdressers get it, the lads in the warehouse get it. That's if Maria hasn't had her hands on it first. <laughs> so um, so everything is just about learning. We call it light-hearted entertainment because we like to have banter in the kitchen. Um, it can get a bit daunting when it's silent, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. And, and as much sometimes we get the odd comment where people say, Oh, stop talking or something. Very rare that someone's brave enough to do that. But, you know, we had one the other week who was. So um, it's we don't like the silence because three seconds, five seconds is actually a very long time. It is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we hope that you've enjoyed everything tonight. In fact, I know that you've enjoyed everything tonight. So please do share. We're going to be back on Monday with Sarah Doyle. John's back in the kitchen again. What are you doing, John? Saying bye to right. everyone. Right, okay. Have we nearly done? <laughs> Crikey, can't wait till the end of the line. So anyhow, so um, we're back on Monday night with Sarah Doyle. She's got something fantastic to show you and I think she's doing cookies. I can't remember. It's so bad, isn't it? Remember, it's like a sieve. But anyhow, she's here on Monday night. She's been in the kitchen before, so several times. And um, we've got Marion Frost the following Monday. I can't remember who's in next Thursday, but the following Thursday after that is the office staff. Yes. We're all in. So on the 19th, we're all in. So you'll get to see all the staff. So you're going to get to see people you haven't met before. Unless you've been to the demonstration morning, you will have met Yin. So she's coming over. And then we've got Maria's brother, James, coming over. So he's going to be the only man in the kitchen. <laughs> and if John keeps coming in and out of this kitchen tonight, ear be on it. <laughs> Next. <laughs> what are you going to be baking, John, at the office party on the live? <laughs> They'll be disappearing quick now, he won't be interfering. So would you like to say goodbye to the audience, John? Yes, bye everyone. You. I won't be back till January. <laughs> I've just been telling them you're going to be doing lives again next year, John, because we're hoping to move up to three lives a week. And you're not doing one of them. Just it's tell them how, how excited you are. I bet you can't wait to work with him one night, can you, Julie? Yeah? Crikey. I'm going That's going to be a load of fun. I'm going to have to choose my dates really carefully. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um... So, we, so that will be office Christmas party. Now that was going to be the end of it for the lives, but Phil Jensen messaged me on Monday and asked, um, he's got an opportunity to be here in December. Well, you know what? You've got to grab an opportunity oh, when you can. And he's fun. he's great, Phil and his wife. And they're, uh, I don't know whether they're both coming or it's just going to be Phil, but he's offered to do a Facebook Live on Monday, the 23rd of December. No idea what he's going to do. But he's part of the Cake Professionals and he'll tell you all about that because you will want to go know more about that. So he's going to be here then doing a demonstration, which we're really looking forward to. And if you don't know Phil Jensen, then go over to Extreme Cake Makers and you'll find everything that him and his wife do together. They live down in Cornwall and, um, and, and they're at all the cake shows as well. They're a fabulous couple. So we're looking forward to seeing them here. So I think that's us done, isn't it? Yeah, I think oh, well so. Well done, Julie. Yeah, yeah. Night, cup of tea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So should we say bye? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye. bye, -bye.